Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today I'm so excited to play book title association with you. So I'm a huge fan of the song association videos that Elle puts out and essentially what happens is they have an artist come to them and they give the artist particular words and then the artist has a particular amount of time to start to sing that word in lyrics and it's just so great especially when my favorite artists play it and I really want to play too but I can't sing so I decided to make book title association which is a fun game that I came up with and you can play it too I would love to see more people doing this if they wanted to do it and how it goes is that I went onto Twitter and I asked people to put down words that they think might appear in book titles I then had my mom write them all down on a piece of paper cut them up and put them in this jar so I don't get to see them and I'm going to pull out a word and then have 10 seconds to try and think of a book title that has that word in it and that's essentially it. That's how you play Book Title Association. Let's get down to it. Got Kingdom. The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. So The Kingdom of Copper is the second book in the Daevabad series and the Daevabad series follows Nari who's a young girl in Cairo and she gets whisked away to this world of Jinn yeah, it goes from there and it's a great series. I'm reading the third book at the moment and I'm really loving it. Okay, I'm going to do another one from this thing, from this sheet of words. And go. Heroes. Oh my gosh, heroes. Hero. The heroes of Olympus? The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Okay, got it. So The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan is the first book in the spin-off of the Percy Jackson series. That's all I really know because I haven't read it but I do want to read that series. It's on my TBR. Okay, this is fun. Okay, let me do one more. Let me do one more from this. Okay, ready, set, go. And we have Crown. You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. There we go. So this is a black author and it's following this girl who wants to get a scholarship but in order to get the scholarship she must become prom queen and I think she's got competition and I know it's an FF romance. It's on my TBR. It's another book that's on my TBR. Okay, let's choose something else from the jar. Thank you to everyone who submitted words by the way. Okay, ready, set, go. Girls. The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. So The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker is a retelling of Greek mythology and it follows the long war, the Trojan War. And we are following Brysis who is a girl in the mythology and she has to do with Patroclus and Achilles but basically it's showing the war from the girls perspective and what it's like for them as you know prizes of war and it's heavy on the sexual assault and it was very emotionally impactful and also it's just an, a perspective on this story that I never actually considered or truly thought about and it's one that does transcend just this war because that's what it's women have been prizes of war for a very long time and it shows a bit about what their experience might be like. Ooh, that was an intense book. Okay, another pick. Okay, we got one, we got one. We gotta get the timer going. Love slash heart. Love. 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 I just, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I totally blanked. Love heart. I read romance, don't I? But I don't read romances that have love in the title. Pick another one. We lost a point. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I got two. Okay. We ready? Oh, we almost ready. And go. Wild or magic? Magic. A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab. Three seconds to spare. So A Darker Shade of Magic is a trilogy and the first book, I can't even explain it anymore. So the first book is about Kel and he can transcend between these three different Londons that exist 
and Black London used to exist, but you're not supposed to bring things between the worlds, but he discovers an item that used to belong to Black London and he takes it with him and it starts to do this really weird stuff and the story goes from there. I've read the first two books in the series and I think it's a bit of a mediocre series. I've kind of decided that probably won't finish the series, but I don't know, maybe I will someday later down the line via audiobook, but it's not really one I'm interested in investing more time in at the moment. Ja ja ja. Let's choose something. I don't know how long I'm gonna play this for, but we'll see. Okay. And go. Court. That's easy. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. So this is a very popular series on booktube and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling following Feyre and it's pretty much a standard Beauty and the Beast retelling. She goes into this magical world, there is a curse, she needs to rescue them from this curse etc etc. I'm not really a huge fan of the series. I've read the first two books in the series. The first one I didn't really like that much honestly, the more I think about it the more I didn't like it but I put that down more to the actual Beauty and the Beast fairy tale being not one of my favourites and I think quite boring actually which made the first book boring. The second book was better but I'm just not one who gets the hype around this series so I do own the third book. I don't know if I want to read it or not, I'm kind of on the edge. I also got the audiobook saved on script in case I just want to audiobook my way through it, but it's so long and I don't know if I want to invest my time. I would rather read the Throne of Glass series, so that's another one that I'm just not sure about. <laughs> okay, we got another word. Um, dark slash darkness. Full, st full stars, no dark. Oh, so that's basically, okay, dark. Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. Just in time. I don't know why I keep bringing up V.E. Schwab books, but I haven't read Our Dark Duet. This is the sequel to This Savage Song, which is a duology by V.E. Schwab, and I have read This Savage Song. It's set in this world where if you do evil, it creates a shadow and a shadow becomes a monster. And yeah, we're following August, who is a monster. And then we have Kate, who's very vicious, and I really didn't like the first half of the book. I was just going through it and I was like, hmm, this is mediocre. And then we got to the second half of the book and it was amazing and I was invested and I loved it. My favourite things in the book were August and also the world building. I feel like V.E. Schwab's strongest suit is her world building and the idea of the monsters and how they were made was completely fantastic. But the first half did drag a lot for me. So I just don't know if I'm going to read the sequel. Since then, I just have, it's been a long time. So I've lost a bit of interest and I don't know if I'm going to be Continuing with that series, another one, like DJ Khaled vibes, okay, three, two, one, let's go. Sky. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. So The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson is a book about someone whose sister has just passed away. It's been a long time and she starts to talk a lot to her sister's boyfriend because of course they're both grieving so that discussion starts and she's just kind of trying to deal with her grief and she writes a lot of poetry to help her through it but a love triangle does emerge it's a book that involves cheating and that's just not really my thing so i thought it was an okay book in the end we've got quite a few so i'll just keep doing this as long as it's as long as it's fun we'll just keep going i'm enjoying this game and i get to talk about books that i wouldn't usually talk about Okay, go. Blood. Blood. Blood's Game by Angus Donald. So this is a historical fiction that I've read. I'm gonna really struggle with giving you the synopsis and we follow the, the, the Blood family <laughs> and um, I can't remember anybody's names. But essentially we have this main character and he is autistic. It's never said in the book that it's, he's autistic because it's a historical fiction book and it's set during the historical period of King Charles. I want to say King Charles but I could be wrong. It could be a different king. I don't know. But it's during that historical period and it's dealing with a conspiracy within the royal family and the autistic guy gets involved a lot and he is really valued in the royal family. He kind of gets sent there to work and then he gets picked out because he's talented at doing certain things such as remembering certain details and such. So he kind of gets 
he moves up in positions and he deals with this conspiracy while simultaneously his father is included in a group of criminals and thieves and such and his father is very he's like a gray area character he does a lot of bad things but he does some good things too and he has grown up his autistic son and now he's in a lot of trouble because of what his crimes have led him to and I'm explaining this so badly but it's to do with the family dynamic of his father being a criminal and then him working within the royal family and then the whole conspiracy thing comes into it but he's trying to deal with the issue that his father's entangled up in as well as the conspiracy and he makes some friends along the way and it was just so great to see about an autistic character in history but also acknowledging the fact that they didn't have a diagnosis then and lots of people think he's strange and different but sometimes he gets praised for those differences and oddities that other people can't see the value in. So it was a nice story and I thought it was really really good. I also read the sequel. I don't know if Blood's Game is the title of the first book or the sequel but the first one was the best one and it was really good. Queen and Shadow and you know what I can do a book that has both of those in it and it's called the Queen of Shadows. Wait, let me just let me just Google that to check that's the title. Yes, there we go. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I was right. I put both of the words in one title. I am a queen. But Queen of Shadow is a book in the Throne of Glass series. It's not one that I've read yet and I've read the first three. I think it might be the next one. I think it's the fourth one. So I can't tell you anything that happens in it but it's in the Throne of Glass series which has to do with an assassin who gets entered into this competition to become the king's personal assassin if they can win against all the other criminals and assassins that have been entered into the competition. It's a fantasy series so there's more going on than just that premise. I thought it was okay but I've read the first three and I I'm invested enough to continue, mostly because of Kale. That's the reason why. Okay, next one, I think we'll do two more. Stuck. Midnight. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer. So, I've got a whole vlog where I talk about Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer, but it's Twilight told from Edward's perspective, and in my opinion, it was a bit of a disappointment. There were some parts of it that I liked, and some things that were very nice to see, like all of the extra scenes, but personally, I do think it was a bit of a disappointment. Our very last one for this book title association game, start, we have... Kingdom and City. We've already done Kitty Kingdom, so let's do City. And of course, I immediately think of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and that is the first book in the Shadowhunter series, Empire. Those books have gone on for so long that it's way more than just one series, but City of Bones has to do with Clary. Oh my gosh, can I explain this? No, not really. Her mum disappears and she wants to find out where her mum has gone, and she ends up entangled in this whole different world that she never exist knew existed of Shadowhunters who hunt demons and slay them <laughs> while wearing black. And it's a, it was a good series. I really liked the Mortal Instruments series when I was a teenager. I haven't reread them since and I don't know if they hold up, can't say, but I did enjoy those first six books. Since then I've only read Clockwork Angel, which wasn't my cup of tea, but I haven't read any of the others. But I do intend to at some point try more Cassandra Clare. Well, ooh. Well, there we have it. Those are all the ones I'm going to draw. I've still got some more, so let me know if you want a second round of Book Title Association where I can open the rest of these and continue out the game because I got more suggestions than I could do. But I hope you enjoyed playing this game. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about or tell me a book that has the word shadow in the title that you are interested in reading. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't you forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say, onwards and upwards. Excelsior!